excited today because, oh my goodness gracious, we are kicking it off. We are kicking it off. And so, first and foremost, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. And if you're coming in on the replay, do not forget, do not forget to hit those hearts, to hit those like buttons. Let us take this time to really just dive in and enjoy all the fun things that Facebook has to offer for us. So do not forget to hit that like button, hit that comments, um, share because we are actually going to be doing some really fun things today. And so I want to make sure that you are in for all the goodness that we are going to do today on, ah, y'all, the Aaron Bird Show Live. Ah, so if you're joining me, drop me a comment. Say, hey, Aaron, what is up? I want to know who is with me. And even if y'all remember, even if you come in on the replay, I want to know that as well. Okay. I want to know that you are here. So hello, hello, hello. I'm going to come in and start this party for us. So today, 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 hello, hello, hello. Say hello to me. Let me know that you're here. I am so stinking excited about today. Y'all, I am so excited to about, about today because today, hey, Christine, I'm so glad that you're here. So today, I'm going to dive in. I want to talk about today the top 10 must-haves that you need for Rockstar Preschool Program, right? And I also wanted to give you my super simple strategy to make shoe changes super simple inside your tiny tot classes. I had one of my clients come to me and say, oh my gosh, shoe changes are a nightmare. How can I make this happen easy, efficiently? And so I thought, you know, why don't we share this with everyone? Because sometimes, especially if you um, might be new inside the tiny tot classrooms, um, or it's been a while since we've all been inside the classroom for so many of us. And so right now, we're kind of going back to the basics. And so how can we make things easier, streamlined? And so that's what we're going to talk about today. But I want to give you a little bit of information about this new show that we're doing, the Aaron Bird Show Live. And so we are going to take and bring on amazing guests and we are going to have some fun, y'all, because I'm all about fun. I want us to have fun and to celebrate together and to inspire and bring joy into our lives and into our industry. And so that is our goal for our time here every single week when we get together. And of course, I cannot go without sharing strategy, tips and tricks, things that are just going to make your life and your business easier as well as well as give away some fabulous prizes because who doesn't love a fabulous prize? Am I right, y'all? Ah! Clap those hands. I can make your hands clap. <laughs> I'm gonna just go on. So let's just dive right in. If you are new here for some reason, I am Erin Bird, your hostess with the Moses, and I am so lucky because I get to work with the best people in the whole wide world. I get to work inside this industry and I work with studio owners who are growing their businesses and want to really create their own unique vision of success. And so this for me is a way of continuing to give back and to inspire and to really share inside our industry. So I'm so excited about that. So make sure that you're commenting, make sure you're, you're tapping that love button, those heart buttons, those thumbs up. I want to see them because I want us to have some fun today. So even if you're coming in on the replay, that's okay too. So let's jump into the top 10 must haves. If you want to have a rock star preschool program, right? Y'all, I talk about all the time how we need to have a really solid preschool program if we want to be successful. It's something that I truly believe and when I work with my clients, we talk about all the time. And so what are the top 10 must-haves, right? So I want to go through those with y'all um, today. <clears throat> and these aren't necessarily one is more important than the other, except for number 10, I will say. But number one is we want to have structured age-appropriate lesson plans. Now, that might go without saying, right? 
But I can't tell you how many times that I've seen as I come in and do an audit in the studio or inside those preschool programs where I'm seeing that they're, the, the lesson plans aren't age appropriate, right? We want to look at what's developmentally age appropriate. And if you're here in the United States, a really great resource for you is NAEYC. And go on there. They will help you look and see what are age appropriate milestones for this age group right? And you, it'll help you build your lesson plans. There's also fabulous resources out there, y'all. And of course, later on, um, I will bring, be bringing on some guests who have their own curriculums, have their own lesson plans that I think are absolutely phenomenal, absolutely fabulous, and would be a great additions to your studios. But that's not today. So the second thing is, y'all, you need interactive and purposeful, this is important, interactive and personal props to aid your instruction, right? When you have a preschool program, they want to be immersed. They want to be engaged. They want to have fun, y'all. And props, those are easy ways to enhance your instruction and your lesson plan. And it engages them and brings them in. And y'all, they are excited to be there. Now, without that, you also need, number three, would be you need exciting and engaging music, right? Uh, that goes along with themes. I'm a big believer in themes in class. I love them. Kids love them. It allows them to be immersed in storytelling. Let me know in the comments, who does theme lesson plans? Like under the sea or... You know, it might be conceptual too. Maybe you have a concept that you build your lesson plans on. Um, let me know in the comments. I want to know who does that because you guys, this is key. It goes a long way. And if you can use music that is, you know, relatable, that they know, that's exciting. Y'all, hello. Yes, Jen. Yes, yes, yes. Concepts. Love it. And you know me. I believe in it, y'all. Okay. So here's number four. And this is key. We kind of joke sometimes over here about all the faces of Aaron, <laughs> right? <laughs> right, the faces of Aaron. But this is key. This is key inside a preschool class. You need animated and entertaining teachers. I call it edutainment. And you know what? I was thinking about this the other day, and I don't know about y'all. I love myself some Mr. Rogers. I think to leave him it would be for mr rogers <laughs> but what did we learn from mr rogers right we learned about edutainment he was educating those kids right through entertainment and i think that this is what separates okay preschool programs from fabulous preschool programs is when we don't have that edutainment piece in it, we have to keep them engaged. We have to get them excited. And here's the other thing, y'all leaning in, we have to speak to them. Mr. Rogers, he was very, very intentional about, he was speaking just to that one person, that one child, right? And if we can do this inside of our classes, if we could be animated and entertaining and speak to that one child, just like Mr. Rogers did, right? You will be super successful and those kiddos will love coming to your classes and to your teacher's classes. But it all starts here, here and in our body language and how we teach, right? So y'all, God gave you this use it okay now here number five i want to tell y'all is program partnerships <clears throat> to enhance your retention and your growth in your studio and what do i mean by that partnerships program partnerships so for us it means going out and having mobile program going into some preschool some daycare some after school programs it means partnering with people in your community who have like client bases right Maybe it's a pediatrics office. Maybe it's a dentist office, right? Who has the similar things and becoming partners with them. But I definitely am a fan of a mobile program inside going inside and we'll talk about that more later. Okay, now there is nothing worse than getting a kid 
or a family to come in for a trial or for a demo class. And they come in and, and it goes fine. It's your class. It goes fine. But nothing's been done to get them to say yes. Right? It's like, oh, let's go home and think about it, talk about it. They don't see, parents aren't seeing the wow factor, y'all. You have to think about your trials and your demos. You need to think of them completely through. And what I suggest is specifically formulating a demo or a trial class that ensures instant enrollment. Right? This needs to be your rock star class. This needs to be the funnest of the fun. It needs to make them think, wow, I have to go back. I don't want to leave. Right? And I want you to think through all of the layers of that. What does that look like? What does that mean? When I work with my clients, we talk about what's the experience for that student and that family when they come in for your demo and trial class. It's got to be a rock star if you want to have a rock star program. It has to be designed in a way that makes them say yes. And then, you know, we have to schedule calendar and promo days. We have to plan it. We have to think about it. We have to know what's our objective for it, right? Yes, 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 yes. I'm loving the loves. I'm loving the hearts. Keep them coming. Okay, now, I'm not going to dive too deep into this today. We'll talk about it another time. But we need to think about when do we want to be enrolling families? What are we doing that's special for them? And this comes to number eight. This comes to number eight, y'all. And that is the irresistible offers for easy yeses. Right? What compels them to say yes? You've had a great class, had a great trial, but then what? What is your process for them to say yes right then, right now? Right? We have to strike while the iron's hot, we have to get them enrolled, and we have to start enrolling them into our studio culture, into um, what makes us so special, right? But you have to have an irresistible offer that makes it easy for them to say yes. And a lot of times that starts, like I said, with that demo and trial class. Now with preschoolers, <clears throat> y'all leaning in. You have to, have to, have to have fun branded items that leave a preschoolers wanting more. And I want you to think about Disney. <sighs> Truth of the matter is, y'all, I'm a Disney-holic. <laughs> Our family is. We love Disney. But I love, here's the thing, we have to take a step back and look at what they do. And what do they do? They brand those children through their products, right? Through every little step of the way. And so if we can reverse engineer and think, think, put ourselves in those Disney Imagineer shoes and marketing shoes and think about that sort of thing, what is it that preschoolers want, right? What do they want? They want fun. They want branded stickers that are fun that they could take at the end of the class. They want fun clothes, t-shirts, bracelets. They, they want fun things, right? And... So how do we keep them wanting more? But here's the bigger thing is when we continue to do that and we brand them, they share the love with their friends and their friends come. Okay. Y'all, you hanging with me? All right. Number 10. Drum roll. Oh, no. Can't it. Ah! <laughs> Drum roll, please. Y'all, number 10. Above all else, this is the most important, really. Above all else, our classes and our program it has to be fun. It has to be exciting. It's got to be engaging. And it's got to be convenient. <laughs> it's got to be convenient. Classes for our families have to be convenient. For our customers, they have to be convenient. Right? So, they have to be fun. They have to be exciting. They have to be engaging. And they've got to, got to, got to be convenient, y'all. And when we roll all this up, these top 10 must-haves, you will have a rock star preschool program that you're known for in your community, right? That's our foundation. That is our foundation of our studio is a rock star preschool program. Okay. Think about, I can make your hands clap. It's going to be stuck in my head all day. 
Okay, y'all. So, let me know. Let me know. Are you, do you need to work on any of these things out of the top 10? Do you already have a rock star preschool program or do you want to continue to work on it and for it to grow? All right. I think right now we need to do a little giveaway because I love myself some prizes. <laughs> Who doesn't love some prizes, right? So I want to do a quick little giveaway. So, so if you are here live, which I see some of you are here and I'm so excited to have you here. I want you to type in the comments. I want you to type in the comments for me if you can. I would like you to type in, hmm, celebrate. Type in celebrate. I'm going to do a little, I have a little wheel thing here and it just, and it is going to pick a winner because wins. Celebrate the wins because here's the thing. I am going to send you all a celebrate. Yes, 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 yes. Love it. Celebrate the wins mug. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and find, because here's the deal. This is what I know. When we celebrate the wins, more wins come our way. Uh, can you believe it? I know, right? We start to be in gratitude. So type it in there. I'm going to go ahead and just do a little thing here. I'm going to close my eyes. Let's see. Ah, okay. So when I did my um, roulette wheel, Christine Kiefner, you are going to get a Celebrate the Wins mug. Yay! Can we all give our hand? Give me some likes. Give me some thumbs up. Woo! Miss Christine. Miss Christine, we are going to send you your Celebrate the Wins mug because it's a great reminder. And I love it. And it starts my day off right. It's also time for me to get a drink. So, yay, yay, yay. Woo-hoo, Miss Christine. I'm so excited. Okay, so here's the deal. Are we ready? Y'all, I had one of my private clients. She uh, messaged me the other day and she was like, Erin, shoe change in our combo class? It's a nightmare. I, I don't know. I need to help her. I don't know what to do. It seems like it's taken up half the class to go from, you know, tap shoes to ballet shoes and I just need some help. And I thought, you know, this is something that could be useful to you. And so I wanted to share this with y'all. So how do we make our shoe changes easy peasy? Well, here's the deal. Number one, set yourself up for success. Let's think this through a little bit, right? We need, when we have tiny tots, and when I say tiny tots, I'm saying like mm, five, six and under, okay? Um, now, you could still use this method for older kiddos because, hey, you know me. I'm like, let's organize it. Let's have a system. But this is just a system, y'all, and it's just about you implementing that system. So let me know in the comments who has ever had, like, chaos when it's shoe change time. <laughs> let me know. I want to know. <laughs> because until I set the system up, it was chaos, or it felt like it took forever, forever, it took forever, right? So let me know in the comments. I want to know, has it ever been chaos for you? Um, so I'm making a little thing. Okay. All right. So yes, chaos. Okay. So let's talk about this. Now, I want you to understand that this is a framework for the system. You can make little tweaks and adjustments that work for you, but it's about getting the system in place. <laughs> right, y'all? Okay. So here's the big thing. Grab some blue painter's tape. Now, here's the beautiful thing. I love tape. I use tape for lots of things in classes. And there's different colors of painter's tape. Okay? There's blue. There's green. I mean, online, you can order them in all sorts of colors, y'all. Really can. Okay. So... I set up my tiny tot classrooms where <clears throat> across the floor, socially distance, distance and space, this was before COVID, I place numbers on the ground. So I put a little piece of tape and I write one, two, so on. Um, 
And because of where I'm at, you know, we could only have 12 tiny tots in a classroom. So one to 12, that's what I did, okay? Now, that's across the floor in the middle of the classroom. Then at the front of the classroom, next to the wall of mirrors, I also, right in front of the other one, would write, take that painter's tape, and I write one through 12. Now, as our friends would come in, I say, oh, Jen, you get to go to number one. Jen, go sit down, crisscross applesauce on number one, right? Then I might say, Christine, you get to go to number 12. Go sit down on number 12, so on and so forth. Everyone would have a number. Now, here's the key. I'm gonna tell you all this. Now, I know there's some uh, up in the air, but here you, here's what I think. I would always have them start in ballet slippers because the anticipation of tap, right? Sometimes it helps them listen a little bit. <laughs> so have them start out in ballet slippers, number one. And also their feet get sweaty, y'all. <laughs> so it's easier to put a tap shoe on, for the most part, uh, with a sweaty foot than a ballet slipper. Y'all feel me, right? You digging it? Okay, so um, start with that. So have them start out in their ballet shoes, right? Crisscross applesauce. Now I get the question a lot, Erin, they have cubbies. And here's the deal. We can still utilize cubbies for the bags, for the water, that sort of thing, but I don't have them store their shoes in there during class because then you get this clump and this cluster and mm, 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 it becomes chaos. So I have them come sit down. I tell them, Christine, you're on number 12. Grab your tap shoes and go sit crisscross applesauce, right? Now, the very first class, you can have them sit down and, and then explain to them and demonstrate. They sit down, then when you call their name again, they get to go and put their place their tap shoes, right, on their number up by the mirror. And the beautiful thing is, you end up with a row of distance tap shoes, right, up against the mirror. Everything has a place and a purpose, right? Everything has a place and a purpose. So we set those tap shoes down on their numbers. So then when it's time to change shoes, you again release them one or two at a time. It's about taking turns. You guys, we're teaching so much more than dance. We're talking about patience, sitting and taking turns, self-control. Right? There's a lot of things that we're teaching inside of our tiny talk classrooms. So I might say, Christine, you may go sit down right in front of your tap shoes. We're gonna take off our ballet slippers and they're gonna switch spots because those ballet slippers, oh, they wanna see you tap. It's their turn to watch you tap in class, right? So again, we're engaging them, we're making it fun. Your ballet shoes want to watch us tap, yes? Okay, anybody following me? I'm not seeing any of that, all right. <laughs> We are going to line them up, right? And we're gonna do it that way and we're gonna help them. Now, here's the other little key that I do sometimes and it really helps with teaching right from left. So I will place a small, tiny little sticker on their right ballet slipper and their right tap shoe, right? Because I say, well, let's start with our right shoe and we take off our right shoe. Think of Mr. Rogers again, y'all, when he's changed the shoes. So I say, we're gonna start with our right shoe. Take off your shoe, your right shoe with the sticker. Take off your ballet slipper. And we're gonna play switcheroo. And we're gonna put our ballet slipper where our tap shoes, and we're gonna pick up our tap shoe, and we're gonna put it on, right? Then we're gonna do the left shoe, switcheroo, right? So we're gonna practice this. This is, it's not gonna be perfect the first week. It's not gonna be perfect the second week. But if we are consistent, you are gonna get shoe changes down, da, 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 like that. Now, at the end of class, I do the same thing. After everyone sat, I gave them their sticker or their stamp or their, their branded thing, right? At the end of class for successfully finishing class, then I release them in the same way. So depending on how you're releasing students right now because of COVID, um, but I will say, okay, Christine, you sat so nice, you may go pick up your ballet shoes, you may go to your cubby, put your ballet shoes inside your inside your bag, and then line up at the door so we can go back to our moms and dads, right? 
It is just a system. But the key is teaching them they have a number, they have a place, right? Now this doesn't have to be numbers necessarily. If you want to do shapes, you can do shapes. If you want to do, you could switch it up, right? And it could fall in line with the theme. Y'all know how I feel about themes, right? So it could be, hey, you might be, if we're doing jungle and safari, it might be animals, right? How fun would that be for that month? So you can in, ingrain these systems inside your classroom to take it from chaos to calm, okay? So let me know in the comments if you are going to try the shoe change system. And if you have questions about it, drop them in the comments. I want to know. But the shoe change system, it, y'all, changed the dynamic of my class because it just felt like, oh, everybody knows what to do. It takes some time. We've got it. We have to be patient with it. We have to be consistent with it. But it will absolutely work, y'all. It will absolutely work. But shoe change system, life-changing. It really is for your staff and for you. Okay, let me come in here. It's saying that you guys got, got me some comments. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so absolutely love it. <clears throat> All right. So, y'all, I can't believe we've gone through the top 10 must-haves for a Rockstar Preschool program. And I gave you the easy peasy, lemon squeezy, <laughs> shoe changing life changing system <laughs> today. And I want in the comments, yes, 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 yes. Okay, I'm like, let me know. So I wanna do one more giveaway. I wanna do another giveaway before we wrap up today. <laughs> I'm having a good time over here, y'all. I hope you are too. Okay, so I wanna do one more giveaway. I want to do one more giveaway. This giveaway, y'all, because I talked about the top 10 must-haves, okay? The top 10 must-haves, I talked about um, interactive and purposeful props, yes? So for this giveaway, I want to give one lucky person an Amazon gift card. So you can order yourself ah, some props for class, okay? so. If you want to be part of this giveaway, in the comments, I want to see you write props. Write props. That way, I can pick someone who is looking for. <laughs> ah, yes, right? I need to know. In the comments, write type props so I can see who is looking. Yes, 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 yes. Because y'all, I. Uh, I love me some props you guys if I could share with you guys we have a whole storage facility that houses just our props <laughs> because some would say it's out of control but my husband might say it's out of control <laughs> But the truth of the matter is that I think it is absolutely necessary and it's so much fun and it makes teaching for us fun, right? And so if we're having fun and we're full of joy and we're excited, then how could our students not be, right? <laughs> okay, so I'll, I'm going to get real with you, Jen, because <laughs> um. My husband, so that was when I first started, you know, it's kind of in our house, like in our garage. And it kind of started to take over. And then my kiddos, they thought that it was just like fun toys for them, which is okay because they didn't like destroy them or anything. But things would start to disappear. And things weren't where I needed them to be for when I went to go teach class. So we made the decision we had to move them you know, off-site. They had to go somewhere. And then as we grew our business, as our staff numbers increased, da, 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 our classes increased, we had to, I mean, we just had to move it over. But I totally feel you. <laughs> I totally feel you. But, you know, here's the deal. All right, so everybody got it in? All right, can you give me a drum roll? Or give me some thumbs up, some hearts, some likes, so that way we can, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna close, I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm gonna give you the wheel of fortune. 
<laughs> Aaron, the Aaron Bird Show Live way, right? The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, for your Amazon gift card, I'm going to close my eyes and see who we got. Okay. Ah, okay. Jen, your, your husband might not like me right now, but I'm going to give you some more props. So yay, hands clap. your Amazon gift card so you can order yourself some more props. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so yay for Miss Jen. I am so excited for you. I'm trying to do this here. Uh, so excited we're going to add to your prop collection today um, because here's the deal. You can absolutely have a stellar rock star program, but I think that props... Um, they take it over the top. They really do when they're thoughtful and they're thought out and they could really aid in your instruction and teach from a place of storytelling, from a place of imagery, from a place that engages and immerses them in the experience. And so again, when you go back to, I think about Disney and Mr. Rogers, that's exactly what they did. And that's why they lead their way in their field, right? Okay, so, oh my gosh, can we make our hands clap? Okay, before we leave today, I want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart, whether you're here live or you're coming in on the replay, for joining me in the first episode of the Aaron Bird Show Live. And I want to take a moment to invite each and every one of you to the 100K Mobile Studio Blueprint Workshop that's coming up in Orlando. If you are interested in joining us there, if you want to dive into your business, if you want to grow your preschool program, if you're looking to go out and get into daycares and preschools and to really grow, you need to be there with us in Orlando. It's October 15th through 17th. And drop in the comments, say, you know, more info, and I will reach out to you and be able to share with you. I will actually also go in and put the link um, to, so you can get more info about the 100K. Um, Let's see if I can multitask. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> we'll see if it works, <laughs> y'all. Um, let's see. I always would like fingers crossed, and I do it right. We're gonna see. Ah, I think I did it right, y'all. <laughs> um, so I want to make sure that you join us there now. Last but not least, if you want a prize, I am going to be sending you a Facebook message just to make sure I have all your details right so we can send you out those prizes. Now, before we leave, though, I have to tell you about next week. Next week, ah, we are going to have some awesome goodness. Next week, I am having my first guest, Miss um, <clears throat> Samara. And you guys, she's going to come on and share with you all the amazingness inside of her preschool program as well as how... We worked and she's kind of expanded herself and grown and really moving into um, her new season of life, being a mommy, um, as well as a multiple business owner and really thriving. And so I'm so excited to have my um, client Samara on as well. Y'all, I've got some more tips and tricks and secrets up my sleeve that I want to share. And of course, we have some more giveaways, y'all. I cannot wait. So... I hope to see you in Orlando at the 100K Mobile Studio Blueprint Workshop. Drop in the comments more info if you'd like me to reach out to you, if you have some questions about it. If not, you can grab your seat and your ticket today. Um, Y'all, we're only like five weeks away, six weeks away, something like that. Um, but I'm so excited for this year because so much opportunity is out there. And we just have to make a decision if we're going to go for it. So I'm so excited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All from the bottom of my heart. My heart is so full and I cannot wait for next week for episode number two with our first guest, Miss Samara. You guys, I will see you all next week. Same time, same station uh, for the Aaron Bird Show Live. Ah, thank you all. Have a fantastic day. And thank you for showing up live and spending and celebrating this awesome time with me. So I'm going to leave you there. See y'all later. And I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye, friends.